the story from way back. Truck on down and dig me jack. There's Big Mo. Then I says to Mamie, Mamie, who is this man they call Mo? She said, his name is Mo. And after Mo, there is no more. <laughs> we just gone up to watch the Red Sox and we had an enjoyable evening. And Uncle Mo used to ask Andrew, drop us off like a chauffeur right in front of the stadium so we wouldn't have to walk so far. Mm -hmm. But it rained so hard this day, it was raining like crazy. He was out jumping in the puddles, walking in the rain, and we just had so much fun because it was a warm, gentle rain. And, and at his age at that time, I think he was 85, 86 years old at that, that day, and he was like a kid playing in the rain. And we all were kids playing in the rain that day. Mm -hmm. And that's what I remember, because he enjoyed life so much, and that day so much. We all did. He, it was interesting the way he worked. He, he just would keep working every day. He worked very hard. Everybody gets tired. But this guy would get tired, go to sleep at night, get up in the next morning, and never think about I'm not going to work. He just kept going. My grandpa. How are we doing? Good. One of the best things was when we went to go into Jamaica. So glass was up for it. I was like, no, oh, I'm not getting on a plane. No, I'm not going to go. So finally, we just got the ticket and said, hey. If you already got tickets, you have to go. And so after we were there for a couple of days, he's sitting on the court. Now he's relaxed and he's looking in the field and there's a cow over there in the field and he's looking around and all of a sudden he says, yeah, next year we'll come down for two weeks. And we all fell out. <laughs> yeah. 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 People down there. Every time when we went back, they asked for them. When we, every time we go back, they say, "Hey, how's, yeah. your, how's your parents?" And because uh, he fit right in wherever he went, yeah. he fit right in. And that's one thing. Every time we went down the Cape, if he had anything in the garden, mm -hmm. we'd come home loaded. Yeah. Lucy and I, yeah. Always, yeah. So he had some nice years, and he had some beautiful mm -hmm. years with, with Gladys, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she understood him and everything. Yeah. It's a lot of times I get in there on the couch, and, and I don't go to sleep because I can't go to sleep. And I think of him, and then I laugh at him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because he did some funny things. He, he always remembered the punchline of jokes. Mm -hmm. So whenever he had a joke, all he had to do was say the punchline. And we'd all oh, get a big laugh out of it. Pick me up when I get back in Boston. If he don't, if he don't, he'd be on the what, li on what list? <laughs> if he had something to tell you, he would tell you right off the bat. He wouldn't hold a grudge. If you pissed him off, he'd say, listen, this is what you did. After he told you about it, and the story, go over and have a drink. But he, would, he wouldn't hold a grudge, but he wouldn't keep anything. He got it off his chest. And he wouldn't feel right until he got it off his chest, and he told you about yourself. Um, which was kind of a good thing to do, and uh, a good trait. Most people nowadays leave things unsaid. He tried to get it off his chest to you in a nice way, but he had his say, he said it. This past spring, on my birthday, he came up to see me. And we were in a driveway talking and mom came over. She pulled up and she got out the car and I, as she was walking toward us, I said to him, you know this woman? And he went. <laughs> <laughs> and I was sitting there thinking, what a lucky guy I am. Yeah. On my birthday, on my 54th birthday, I had my mother and my father both drive to my house and walk up my driveway and be outside. That's right. 
That was a gift. For love, charity begins at home. Remember that. We all of Charity begins at home. So you got to love, you got to love your brothers, you got to love your sister, your mother, your cousin, your family. Yeah. Then you extend out to your good friends. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you say. That's important for people. That's what I can extend to the young generation of today. The young one, the big, I hope they see this someday when we're gone.